we need new young blood. And um, J.D. Vance is just an example of some of that. It's a pretty strong play politically uh, by former President Trump on the, uh, to get those upper Midwest states. Oregon conservatives react to former President Trump's VP pick at the Republican National Convention. This just two days after he survived an assassination attempt. Isabella Warren reports on what's ahead now for the GOP's nominee. The eyes have it, and the motion is adopted without objection. And the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Former President Donald Trump announced his running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, just two days after surviving an attempted assassination. And local leaders are supportive of the choice. We need new young blood, and um, J.D. Vance is just an example of some of that. I think we're lucky to have him and we need more people just like him. I think it's a it's a pretty strong play politically uh, by former President Trump on the, uh, to get those upper Midwest states. Republicans like Bob Tiernan and Jeff Eager are sharing their thoughts following an eventful few days. Take a look at what happened. Oh. Chaos last weekend after the former president was shot and injured at a rally in Pennsylvania, leading to the death of one and two injured. The Secret Service named Thomas Matthew Crooks as the shooter who was killed at the scene. Violence has become more of an accepted part of politics, and it's not one party or the other. It's all both of them and people in between to a degree. Former President Trump also getting Oregon's 31 Republican delegate votes on the first day of the convention. Madam Secretary, the great state of Oregon proudly casts our 31 votes for President Donald J. Trump. We have a highly qualified person who's proven themselves, proved himself again a couple of days ago that he has got the grit. And we know that the person who's in the office just does not have the ability to be president. Following the weekend, leaders at the RNC say they feel empowered for the upcoming election. We're having the time of our lives, and we are so thrilled and even more empowered and excited to have Donald Trump be here and be our official nominee. I think it's an exciting time. I think we're going to see him emerge the first time from the shooting, and people look at the real character of the person. Sit back, America, and enjoy, because the future is going to be changing. The Republican National Convention continues until the 18th following the official nomination of former President Trump and VP nominee J.D. Vance, and the Democratic National Convention begins August 19th. I'm just wondering, those who were at the convention that you talked to, did they feel safe there after what happened over the weekend? Yeah, absolutely. They said they actually felt like they were in the safest spot just because, you know, a, about 130 different officials were there, police officers, Secret Service, everything. All right. Isabella, thank you.